Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends Team Fight Tactics video. So today I thought, you know what? Let's make a tier list video of the champions and the items. I thought a lot of people are playing and the game mode is still really new. People are probably very curious as to which characters are good, which ones you should be looking out for and purchasing, etc just overall my personal rating on top of also looking at other people's tier lists getting an idea from them and obviously the main reason is just me playing personally a lot of hours i've played this a lot so if i'm not playing league legends i'm usually playing tft um so yeah i thought this will help you guys out and i thought it'll be also very interesting to make one if you enjoyed the video of course don't forget to hit that like button etc but let's just jump right into it so i made i made a tier list on the second monitor here i'll be referring to but let's kind of go through it uh relatively quickly but i'll explain my process and why i put every character where i do and uh yeah and why so let's start with, with uh the bad characters the f tier the optional tier which let's go ahead and make it like teal or something like that right so what do we have down in this list over here well we have rexai we have uh fiorum where's fiorum and we have poppy where is poppy 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 poopy there she is now, let me explain why. I mean, I feel like this doesn't deserve too much explanation. Uh, Rek'Sai, character itself, horrible. Going for Void or Brawlers, it's okay. Brawlers are not bad. Void, situational. Overall, meh, right? Um, the character itself is just bad, period. That's, that's the main reason. Fiora, same reason as Rek'Sai. Nobles, fantastic. Blade Masters, eh. Fiora itself, meh, right? Pretty bad. Just a horrible character. The only reason you'll ever want Fiora is essentially for nobles. Um, Poppy, I've personally never taken a Poppy in my entire life of playing this game. Uh, I don't think Poppy's very good. If you go for Yordles, maybe fine, she's good. I don't think Yordles are even that good to begin with. So Knights, by the time you start getting the option to take Poppy, Knights are already kind of mediocre. There's just so many better options. So pretty, pretty mech character. Moving along, D tier, we have Katarina and we have Tristana. Let me explain. Katarina dies way too often without getting her ult off. Only good for Assassin and Imperial buff. Character itself, pretty mediocre. Again, unless you're lucky enough to stack her with items to where she can actually get her ult off before dying. Other than that, horrible. Uh, Tristana, Gunslinger, Yordle. We already talked about Yordle. Gunslinger, I think it's just the worst version of... Um, it's just the worst version of Ranger, personally. If you get an early Tristana level 2 and like a, or, and, or a Graves level 2, then Gunslinger is okay. Other than that, if you don't get lucky enough for that, I don't think Tristana is very good. And I just think Rangers like Ash, Bane, um, eventually Kindred are just the better units with better synergies, with better options. Because Rangers can build with Nobles. Rangers can build with Phantom. Rangers can build with Glacial. All of those are so much better than what Gunslinger and uh, Yordles offer. So I don't think it's very good. Let's jump quickly over to the very top and let's go into the s tier very very quickly let me go ahead and just add in all the units and then i'll explain why i have these units uh, as i have them so we'll put all these bad boys in here boom so that's my s tier at the very moment i think draven is actually on the verge of dropping to a tier but he's still very strong so we'll keep him in s tier um so pike i think is actually one of the best units in the game by far and the reason for that is because i just think the character itself is insanely insanely strong like i would even argue that in certain areas of the game even if you're not going assassins or pirates you can still throw in a pike there and he'll still find you uh, victories uh, for the majority of the game up until like super late game where you actually just need the synergies. Uh, his ult is just incredibly strong. Uh, he stuns so many people. He does a lot of damage. If you're going assassins especially, he is just unbelievably powerful. Uh, give him something like a Spear of Shoujin. He'll be stunning people left and right for days. Uh, and if you're going for pirates, he's okay. The main reason is because he's good and assassins are very good. Next, we have Swain. Now, I think Swain is amazing uh imperials are incredibly strong if you get four especially um so katarina obviously is useful for that but other than that katarina is not very useful but his ultimate if you get his ultimate off just make sure you position him correctly his ultimate is unbelievably strong the second he transforms you pretty much win uh assuming he hasn't died already or he's not like a one hp or something like that right so swain especially if you get level two swain i had a one i had one game where i was four imperials with a level two swain the second he popped his ult everybody just died like instantly and he was at full hp like he, he heals super fast um super super good unit just a little bit risky so he's a little bit on the situational side so we'll put him over here then we have garen i think there's no explanation needed garen you literally get garen's left and right uh, at the beginning of the game he's fantastic he's one of the best units early in the game because his spin is just literally spin to win no other explanation needed other than the fact that he is op early and he's a noble right uh, and knights early are also not bad then you have Cho'Gath, of course. Uh, voids, not too bad. Obviously, Rek'Sai is good for being a Void, but that's about it. Uh, so Cho'Gath is obviously a Void, which is great. Um, but other than that, I don't... Uh, sorry, his ultimate is also really good because the AoE on it is just unbelievably large. And that's also one of the biggest reasons. You're pretty much guaranteed to stun every single target on the field, which... 
I mean, what, what can go wrong with that, right? That's just amazing. So it's really good. He's fairly tanky. So the character itself is just really, really powerful. So yeah, definitely want to be looking for Chogas. Moving on to, let's go to A tier. Uh, for A tier, we have Aurelian Saul. I think Aurelian Saul is uh, really, really good. We have, of course, Cassidy. Don't... No explanation needed on Cassidy. I feel like there's also no explanation needed on Darius. Some explanations might be needed on uh, this character, which I have coming up next, which is Lulu. Uh, we have Vayne over here as well. We have Nar. Again, I'll explain it as I'm finished putting all these characters in. We have Brand, I think is really good. And I think Misfortune, honestly, she is on the on the final tier of uh, uh, A tier. Let me see where she is. And she's, I would say she's on the brink of being at B tier. Only because she's such a late game unit, and she is very situational a little bit. She's a gunslinger pirate, I believe. Um, those character traits aren't very good, but her ultimate is one of the best in the game, I think. If you get her ultimate off properly, my goodness, she'll just kill every single character on the field. So, let's start off with the Rail and Saul. Rail and Saul, he got nerfed. Still really good. Still incredibly strong. Dragon buff, super OP. Uh, his ult, super OP. Hit so many units. Put a Spear of Children on him or two. This guy will just poo, 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 kill every single character. Moving on to Cassidy. So broken, honestly. I think Cassidy is a, potentially going to be S tier eventually or something like that. If you actually stack Cassidy with items, if you get Cassidy level 2 or level 3, like early especially, just unbelievably broken. Put like a rapid fire cannon on this guy and like a phantom dancer or something like that, and just the thing that gives you a Mar resistance, he will literally never die. He it, he will be super, super, super OP. So Cassidy, I think, is no, uh, no explanation needed. Right, Void Sork. I think Storks are really good too. Moving on to Darius, uh, also very good. He's a, he's like a slightly worse version, I would say, of Garen at the moment. But my goodness, he's still incredibly strong. Uh, Lulu, Yordle. Again, I hate Yordles. I don't think Yordles are good. But having said that, she is a Sork. Sorks are very good. Sorcerer, by the way, which is a Sork. Sorcerers are very very good. I think. Right. Again, you have a Realm Saul Sork. You have this guy's a Sork. Very very good uh, class or whatever it is. But her ultimate now, now, now that it finally works, because on the PPE it didn't, is really good. So put a Spear Shoujin on her. She will be constantly buffing up your characters with HP, constantly knocking up people around you. I honestly think she's extremely underrated. So definitely give her a try. I promise you, you will not regret it. Uh, obviously, she is a little bit so-so early game, but mid game is where she starts to shine, in my opinion. Vayne, no explanation needed. Noble, Ranger, just scales really well. You can start stacking her up early. Fantastic, right? You have Nar. I think Nar is a little bit situational, but if you have a comp revolving around Nar, uh, like let's say you have a wild Sork uh, uh, Transformer or Shapeshifter comp, Nar is incredible. Well, the second he transforms, give him like an attack speed item or something like that, like a rapid fire cannon or some, something like that. This guy will actually won't be nine. I promise. Very, very good, but a little bit situational. Anivia, uh, Glacials, I just think are very very strong uh anivia herself uh, i believe she's an elementalist glacial throw her in there with brand and like uh either lissandra or um the other unit there's one more unit for elementalist i forgot which one it is oh oh wait i'm, I'm blanking out on the other elementalist oh kenan kenan very very good kenan brand and anivia i think are fantastic eventually i usually replace lissandra with anivia so lissandra will probably be like a b tier um because she's essentially just a worse anivia um tldr Brand, you have uh, for Elemental's buff as well, which I think is one of the better ones in this game in general. Uh, very strong. His ultimate is incredibly strong. Put a rap or a, a Rabadons on him, at least a level two brand. His ult will be jumping around nonstop. You know his level three ultimate, by the way, it jumps like twenty five times or something like that. It's mind blowing that it's that good. NMF, we already talked about it. Um, very so so in general, but her ultimate is unbelievably overpowered uh so i pretty much put her in a tier solely because her ultimate is just that good uh moving on to b tier let's just go ahead and quickly stack up the b tier so we have atrox in here i actually think i have i have gp in here i think gp is honestly really good level one he's actually really bad level two he just like power spikes hard he's like he, it's like going from like you know regular super saiyan to like super saiyan like four or some shit um we have sejuani in here we have, I actually think Morgana is very underrated. Uh, we have Morgana in there. We have Karthus, which I would say is like near the end. Uh, he's kind of so-so. We have Braum, who's kind of, you know, not bad, pretty good. Ash is really good. Shivana, right? Shivana's good. Nidalee. Uh, I think Kale is in here for sure. We have Lucian in here. And we have Volibear in here. So this is my B tier at the very moment, right? Uh, and pretty much everyone else more or less goes into uh, C tier. But let's go ahead and go over B tier very quickly. So let me explain. Uh, Aatrox, Blade Master, Demon. His ult is just really good. Uh, Blade Master is kind of so-so. I honestly just think his, his, his ult is just incredible. So I would put Aatrox probably somewhere like 
around here, like in the on the lower parts of B tier. Um, other than that, he's really good. I think level 2 GP is incredibly strong, so you want to be looking out for that as well. Uh, plus, Gunslinger on GP is actually not bad because... Unlike Tristana, his ult is actually really good. Put a Spear Shoujin on him. He will be AUing the whole board really hard. Uh, I think Kennen is incredibly strong. Uh, he's a ninja and uh, what's it called? Elementalist. So if you're going for Elementalist, Kennen is like no questions asked. Like he just has to be in your comp because he's a ninja. So he gets extra AD as a solo ninja and Elementalists are really good. Um, Kindred, I think we... Did we talk about Kindred? I think Kindred, I mean, Ranger, really good. Phantom, of course, fantastic with Mordekaiser um, or Karthus or something like that. Ult is very good. Lissandra, essentially a worse version of Nivea. You essentially replace her with a Nivea later on. But other than that, not bad. Uh, Morgana does a lot of damage with her ult. Position her correctly, I promise you, she will carry your fight with uh, her ultimate. She's a Sork, etc. Right? Just Sorks are really good in general. right? You have uh, Sejuani and Ash, I think, are both glacials, so they're both very strong. Ash is... I think pretty good. I'll put her down a couple of notches here, but I think she's very good with the ranger buff. She gets an extra attack speed. She has more chances to proc the glacial buff. Her ultimate is okay. Uh, Sejuani ultimate is very good. Uh, a huge potential for CC. Uh, Brahma would put somewhere near the bottom, personally. I don't really use him other than if I ever go for Guardian, personally. Nidalee, uh, early game to mid game, can 1v9 games. Uh, Karthus is, I would say, pretty down here as well now. Uh, all, all, he's really only useful nowadays just to get the combo with uh, Kindred, uh, which is, of course, the Phantom. Uh, we have Shivana, which, uh, if you're going for Transformers or Shapeshifters, very powerful, especially combined with the Rail and Saul. Uh, can honestly 1v9 games if you just give her the chance to. So you have to just position her correctly, let her transform, and just let her pop off. I think, again, Wild, Sork, and Shapeshifter are very strong. Kale. Takes too long to get, uh, only useful for a noble buff. Eventually, once you upgrade her, she is really good, but ah, it's just, it's too risky to go for Kale sometimes, it feels like. Uh, that's just kind of what I feel. Uh, Lucian, pretty good. Gunslinger, noble. Again, for the noble buff early game, maybe replace him with Fiora to get three nobles, right? You have Vayne, Garen, Lucian, pretty good. Um, you have Volibear, uh, and I talked about these two. Volibear is also a glacial and a, a brawler. By the time you get him, brawlers are slowly kind of getting outscaled, in my opinion. So that's kind of why I don't like him too much. But luckily, his ultimate is just that good, and he is a glacial, so we can get we can we, we can pass him away for that. You know, it's it's fine. Uh, and then pretty much everything else goes into this tier right here. Uh, let me just drag everything in here. Boom, uh, boom, 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 boom. Oops. Yeah, so pretty much everything else goes in this tier right here. Let me explain very quickly before we go into the items very quickly as well. Um, I think all assassins are really bad, so you want to watch out for assassins. Uh, they're only good if you combine them together other than Pike, uh, and of course Katarina being worse. So assassins, yeah, if they're combined together, Three assassins, six assassins, broken by themselves. Other than maybe Zed, that's potentially a B tier. I think they're pretty bad. Uh, Leona is actually quite good. I'm gonna actually put her at the top of this T tier, near the top. Uh, her ultimate is fantastic. It's just you get her really late, so she's pretty much an alt bot at that point. She's either an alt bot or she's a noble bot. Other than that, mediocre. Uh, Ari, she's a wild and a sork, which I think are very good combos for just having a wild sork comp. But the character itself and her ult and everything are very mediocre. So she's essentially just good enough to give you the wild sork. Um, Mordekaiser is uh, okay. I don't really like him too much. But if you get him early on and you get a lot of mords, it's not bad to take it. Because eventually you can get Kindred, get the Vantam buff. And it's actually quite good. Elise is uh, one of the worst shapeshifters. But she is better than she was before. Nothing else to say there. Vagar, in my opinion, too risky. Because the only reason he's good is if you get really lucky with early Vagars and you get them like really high uh, star rating like two or three before other people can get you know too much uh, of their own star rating so you can just one shot people but other than that mediocre Varus also early game to mid game he's okay his ult does a lot of damage other than that mediocre again Kha'Zix Rengar assassins they kind of suck Graves if you get him early he's really good uh Blitzcrank very situational uh if you stack him with items early he's actually not bad but again doesn't scale very well he's kind of you know he's okay uh, I think Warwick is similar to Blitzcrank. Uh, he's okay early. Not that good. And then Yasuo, of course. Unfortunately, he's this slow. Doesn't have much synergies. Blademaster is not that good at the end of the day. He takes too long to get. Just very average uh, unit. And now let's move on very quickly to the tier list of items. Now, this I'll do a lot faster. Uh, I'm literally just going to put all the items in. And you know what? We're just going to do this. Here you go. This is the tier list for items. I was going to do it very slow and explain, but there's no point. This is the tier list for items. Yeah. Nothing else to say. I think these items are by far the best. This item that makes you have uh, the magic resistance, OP. I don't know. There's not much to say about the items. This is just my personal rating. Uh, I think these are just by far the best items in the game. These are obviously the A tier, etc., etc. So, 
but these ones are just horrible uh why the hell would you ever want to add extra knights the knights are not even good uh this is the one that has a chance to shrink or something it's just what uh horrible uh but yeah that's gonna be the tier list for this uh video guys there you have it i'll we'll update it eventually if necessary i tried to explain it in depth so hopefully that helps you guys understand the tier list a little bit better especially with the characters and yeah if you guys enjoyed it then don't forget to hit that like button thank you for watching and i'll see you next time for potentially an update to the tier list when there's a lot of balance changes especially if you want to make if you want me to make a new one later on don't forget to hit that like button that's also a way to kind of let me know but i've been rambling and mumbling quite a bit so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video thank you for watching guys and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.